I'm going to show you how to set up your network connections. I'm going to settings, I'm going to create a panel again. It is loading my control panel right now. What I'm basically going to show you is how to set up a an IP address and the subnet mask and the default gateway and I would explain what is the meaning of these uh, these terms and also I will just show you those other tabs when you get into your TCP IP um, network setup so I'm in this uh, control panel and I would go to network connections okay so in order to go to my TCP IP since these two connections are not uh, enabled right now they're not working I have this wireless connection so I would just right click on it go to properties and the uh, properties actually pulls up wireless network connections three properties it has three tabs general wireless networks and advanced okay the most important part what we were going to check was I would go I was going to properties okay we are in the properties now again so first one is client for Microsoft networks okay this is the client you have to install in order to connect your machines with other machines on Windows it has to be there it is built in okay it comes with it okay files and printer sharing for Microsoft networks again it also creates a connection which actually enables file and printer sharing like when you uh, install a printer on your desktop if you want it to be shared by other machines they are on your same work group or LAN they would be able to only if this one is enabled okay QoS package schedule is quality of s of service it means when the packets are sent and received this service actually makes sure that packets have been delivered okay so and the last one is the most important one which is internet protocol which is TCP IP so when we select this we go to properties we have like on my machine I have some static numbers going so it is it's a good thing because I wanted to show you guys anyways so 192.168.15.4.1 192.168.15.1 okay when you see this thing this is your IP address your machine is using this IP address right now okay subnet mask is this is again that's the range which actually we get these IP addresses from this range so if we have 255 255 255 0 okay last one is uh, right here in this block it is 192.165.1 default gateway whenever you s read this thing default gateway that's your router at your place in your office okay that's where your machine is getting this information from is uh, connecting through your router and router's IP address is 192.168.15.1 okay if so it goes f it this IP address actually comes from this range okay so the bottom one is preferred DNS server again my router is running a DNS server also so it it actually we have to have the uh, information uh, IP information and since router's ID is 162.168.15.1 you know IP addresses uh, DNS is also using the same IP address and this is the alternate DNS server which actually goes and picks from uh, the uh, router okay if this one is down then it will just pick up this one I'll just click on uh, okay and I will go back click on properties I didn't want to say okay at that point though but I was just go to advance that's the most important one right here when you go to advanced then you would see further tabs so IP settings is right here I'll just explain it DNS is right here WINS is right here and options is right here okay IP settings what it is do is IP addresses okay if you have multiple addresses addresses going on then you just click on add and you can just add the IP address and subnet mask. Always remember you have to add subnet, subnet mask there, okay? You can edit, you can remove later if you want to. 
gateway is again your router default gateway mine is 168.15.1 right if you had multiple routers going on your machine is using multiple cards and connected multiple routers, then you can add edit remove right here i have uh, normally when you click on automatic metric it just picks up the uh, metric which is uh, which is actually the shortest route in that that ospf thing open shortest route first uh, actually open shortest path first so uh, when you have the uh, automatic method it just uh, goes and automatically opens the shortest path right but that's what I'm doing so uh, I'm going to click on OK and I can still go back to advanced I can go to DNS now DNS again I have already mentioned D what DNS does is when you enter uh, the uh, URL like www.yahoo.com it actually uh, translates that www.yahoo.com into an IP address because your machine doesn't know English right it doesn't speak English French or German it just speaks this language and when it converts these numbers into boundary then machine actually you know goes ahead and process your request so that's what DNS server does so you enter the URL in English language and just translate it into an IP address and it just gives you the connection again it has this backup DNS right here uh, append primary connection specific DNS fixes these are other options advanced options are available we are not going to discuss right now wins is when we use the Windows internet uh, internet services it is uh, on a in a LAN network we sometimes have to uh, option actually shows the TCP IP filtering that's the that's the part where you can actually go and um, start playing with the ports in order to protect your machine from hackers so in order to learn this part you can do a Google and you can go to TCP IP filtering it would show you how to permit those TCP IP like if I select on first of all uh, you have to select enable TCP IP filtering all adapters permit all permit all permit all permit all means what whatever's coming is fine right but if you do permit only then you have to mention what ports should be permitted what should not be so it is pretty tricky it is pretty uh, dangerous sometimes if you play with it you don't know what you're doing so make sure you read about it first so I just wanted to show you some and uh, to give you some idea so right here I'll just cancel out I would uh, oh, I didn't like it okay I'll just cancel that out and I'll just cancel out from here so that it shouldn't give me any trouble and then I'll just click on OK I click on OK again I'll click on OK again so basically this is pretty much it in order to troubleshoot when you go back to your TCP IP settings make sure that the subnet mask matches with the subnet mask on those other machines your TCP IP address uh, convention also matches with like after 192 it comes 168 then comes 15 and then 1 you can't really have like 192 168 instead of 15 you write 17 and you expect your machine would be connecting no it won't it comes from a range of numbers and that's how it is configured so I just wanted to let you guys that you know, that's how it is set up it is a pre pretty brief <laughs> intro uh, on my next video I would be explaining more but I hope that would help those people who are not much familiar with this setup thanks for watching and you all have a nice day bye